we suffer every little detail. Uh, we fix things that the customers would never see. We fix things for ourselves. We all have crazy egos, I guess, but we want them to be the best. Bill always wanted people to get more than what they paid for, and for sure we're holding up our end of that bargain. Every piece of wood's different, even if it's cut right next consecutively. I might have two backs that look the same, but they don't always feel the same when you get them in your hands. This, this piece hasn't been final thickness yet. It's tight. It's, it's a little too tight. It's a little stiff. And uh, I know that there's material to be removed. <laughs> You know, guitars are really personal things. I mean, you're usually sitting with this thing cradled in your lap with your arms around it. And we, we really appreciate when someone out there, and I get letters all the time, people that really kind of get what we do. And, and that's that we put a little more into it than what would normally take to build a guitar, sometimes more than it seems prudent to do. These are all neck blanks. It's the way a guitar neck starts. A piece of wood like this, you can get two necks out of it. I mean, they're sandwiched together. They run from the three thousands to the you know seven or eight thousands, depending on you know woods. Um, we don't build you know student guitars or beginner guitars. So, the piece of German spruce on the top of this. And this wood is from southern Mexico. It's called Coco Bolo. It's a beautiful orange tinted wood. It's, it's, it's kind of dense. Is it a nice deep sound also? Bill uh, was a perfectionist. Bill could walk into any job and probably be better than the guy that was doing that job. Whether it was hot rods, guitars, interviews, whatever. He was just next level at everything he did. What I'm doing is cutting the rosette channels. When Bill didn't finish college, he went to work in a machine shop and he was watching all this processing going on in this machine shop and he started toying around and making parts for instruments. He had a lot of really natural ability in understanding wood and understanding geometries. And his attention to detail is kind of what made him a name early on. This is another Bill Collings invention. A lot of the ones that you can buy in the industry have a dial in the center. So we overcooked it and made five. We check every neck at every stage and we're looking to see the shape of the neck. We want a specific relief, and we want to make sure that when we zero it, it's dead flat. He was an extremely intense person. Um, you know, I won't say a taskmaster, but he knew what these things, what these instruments should be like, and he knew what he wanted to do and how to get there. Consistency is the name of the game. We have established bracing dimensions and, and, and we try and be as consistent as possible. For the first two years, I was like, please don't come over here, please don't come over here, because he could see everything that you were doing wrong 15 steps away. And then after those two years, I'd hear his voice, come over here, come over here, come over here. This is our finished room. And so when you ask about how long does it take to make a guitar, it's a complicated answer. If you look at that magnet board, every one of those steps is a day. And then after that, the lacquer has to cure for a week, at least a week. He loved to play practical jokes, you know, so I was always, I had a mirror up by my computer where I could look and see if he was sneaking up behind me or not, because, you know, that happened quite frequently. And, um, you know, after a while, I was like, man, I, I love this guy. I think you need to rip some. No, no, some, no, I'm not some, the player, bro. Some rush. 
Come on, oh. man. Dee, 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 dee. I really don't want to be the guy that plays the you guitar. You are still going to do that? Bill's still here with us. We're still working with him. He's in my head at this point. It has a nice tone. It's easily excited. You don't have to drive it to play it. You get all the volume right there off the top without any effort. One of the things that Bill said over and over and over was pay attention. Well, to what? To everything. That's what this is about. Paying attention to the wood, to your hands, to the tools, to the customers, to the everything, every aspect. So in, in this craft, in this world, in Bill's realm, we'll, we're never done.